The first time Chloe Osborne came to the Junior Games, she was 10. Over the last eight years, her table tennis skills have grown, not just as a hobby, but as a life-changing experience. Sport has definitely changed my life, um, because if I, didn't, if I didn't have sport, I wouldn't be doing anything. I wouldn't go out. The Games have been running for more than 25 years. It's a week-long residential programme of every type of sporting event, from hockey to archery, tennis to rifle shooting. It's a chance to experience new sports and make new friends. We subsidise the event heavily to make it affordable for schools to come down and take part. Um, and the most important thing is that they get these opportunities. Um, you know, cost, uh, expense can be a great barrier, particularly in disability sports. So if we can take some of that um, hardship out of the way, then um, and to give them more opportunities, the better. This is Liam Drummond's last year of competing here. He now hopes to come back and teach other children. I think it's good because obviously a lot of tell people don't get out and don't do what they can do, and that's a shame really. But I think all the what the games does is just it shows you that you can do a lot more than you think you can. Lee Keo plays every sport there is. For him, it's about showing the world that everyone can be equal. It shows the rest of the world that disabled people aren't just not able to do anything, that they're able to play sport, do other things, go to work. For some, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. This is where Paralympic champions started their sporting lives. Maybe one of these young competitors will be the next stars for Team GB. Victoria Cook, BBC, South Today.